to your favorite weekly Mazi program. Happy days for you. Lizzie Adido is my name, your host for this program. As usual, just sit back, relax, I'll be right back. The seven day traditional burial ceremonies of late Mrs. Edetobu Ebazele Ugbesia Ni Okoso have been successfully completed. Grandma Edetobu, as she was fondly called by friends, admirers, and well wishers, died at the very ripe age of 101. As an elder of Ubiaja and Ahia community, and as demanded by custom, she was laid to rest a day after her death on Saturday, October 28, 2023, in her ancestral home in the Agrigan community of Ahia in Asian Southeast local government area of Edo State. She is survived by Senator Elder Odion Ugbesia and his twin brother, Honorable Barrister Ahere Ugbesia, Miss. Jane Ivie Ugbesia and Mr. Cyril Ugbesia, grandchildren, great grandchildren, great great grandson, stepdaughters, son in laws, and other relatives. Following the performance of the traditional rites usually accorded elders of Ahia community, she was laid to rest after a brief prayer by Pastor Ebakole Wisdom of the Assemblies of God Church, Ahia. We commit a grave into the hands of the Lord. That after burying my man, no evil power, no evil charm, nobody will come here to make any evil incantation in the name of Jesus. Lord of Jesus we Christ. the grave with the blood of Jesus. Lord of Jesus we Christ. We the grave into the hands of the Lord in the name of God the Father, Amen. in the name of God the Son, Amen. in the name of God the Holy Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. We yes, we this was followed by the dust to dust ritual by her children and other relatives before the entourage moved down to Ubiaja, headquarters of the local government area for the seven day traditional festivities. Mama J, we are one in We ask that God bless you. on the first night of the burial a cultural dance group from Oyomo community entertained the audience throughout the night. There was plenty to eat and drink while the dancing lasted. Now, let's take a look. The Ahia Cultural Dance Group took their turn the next day, followed by Egware Cultural Group, where she had lived all the years of her marital life. night was devoted to the Ehuru Cultural Dance Group, where the Oyomo Group entertained the following night. The last night 
of the traditional burial activities was once again dotted to the Ahia cultural group, ably led by popular ace singer and dancer Oza Okwahia. However, before the commencement of the night activities, the arrival of the Ugbesia twins, Senator Elder Odion Ugbesia and Honorable Barrister Ahere Ugbesia, and their siblings was acknowledged by the dance group and the audience. <laughs> presentation of the traditional color nuts and drinks, the night activities kicked off in earnest with thrilling and acrobatic dance steps by the dancers. Sports, Ralphel Omoegbe spoke to some of the guests who had very pleasant things to say about the matriarch of the Isikweme Ubesia family of Egware Ubiaja. We are gathered here to celebrate a great woman, to celebrate a mother who lived a fulfilled life, who raised her children, and, and, and their children are doing well. We celebrate her. We are not mourning. We are rejoicing because we know she lived a good life. 
and as she has left legacies for us, we also will do likewise. Be able to live and touch people's lives. That's actually the essence of living. It is for us now to live our own lives and touch people's lives. I would describe the death of the mother of our leader as a, I will call it a celebration of life because she has tried, she enjoyed the children to the last point before she joined the ancestors. Fit life. The mother died a worthy death. Because at the right page of the children, that was when she passed on. Uh, we thank God for her. For the life she lived, we know she's already happy with God, whatever she is. And for the children, they are not only comfortable, they have imparted so well in the lives of people. And we pray that the death of the mother will bring good tidings to their family. A great woman, Ada, Ada Tubu, Ugbisia, Ni Okoso. She is a great woman, an elder of the community, and we thank God for our life well spent. 101 years is not a small year. We thank God for our life, and we want to say here that she needs to be celebrated. Mama has done well, she has served well, she has children, she has great grandchildren, she has all, all what it takes in life. So today we are celebrating her. She has done well, she has served well. May her soul rest in power peace. Mama Edetubu Besia is my grand auntie, a uh, sister to my grandmother. So, uh, she's a great woman, and at 101, we are celebrating her uh, transcendent to glory. She has transcendent to glory. So we are happy and uh, we thank God for the life she lived. And we pray that God will grant her so eternal rest in Jesus' name. With joy, gratitude, and happiness, I'm here to celebrate with them on the passing on of their mother. It is a saying, children must bury their mother. So I rejoice with them that they are burying their mother in style, and they buried her in style. And may the years ahead for them be peaceful, May the memory they share with this woman keep them and for them to cherish it. And if there's anything they've learned from this woman, they should bequeath it to the next generation of Ugbesia. I wish them well and may the beautiful soul of Mama rest in peace. Amen. The guests as well as the dance group were later entertained with traditional dishes and takeaway packs. The entertainment by the cultural group continued thereafter. One of the August guests, Mr. John Eromoselle Darlington, a Lagos-based businessman and former managing director of the defunct Bond Bank, also took to the floor to entertain the guests with his dance steps. <laughs>
performers of the night's activities saw the Ubesia twins and their siblings doing their things to the admiration of all present. <laughs> finale of the burial activities moved to Ahia, where grandma was buried. The famous Igbabonelimi dance was there to entertain and bid her final farewell. <laughs> As demanded by custom and as an elder of the community, a title which in most cases is exclusive to men except daughters of the community who have performed certain traditional ceremonies. The dance group escorted the children to the graveside to spray money on the grave and bid grandma farewell. This bringing the seven days traditional burial ceremonies and the first phase of the burial activities to a conclusive end. spoke to her biological children hear them mama was such a lovely woman she was a mother to the call mama would want to feed you any time of the day she will not see you hungry each time you're around she will make sure she gives you food even until her death the moment she she is um, aware that you're around the first person she will call is a cook to ask if you've been given food and if not, she will make sure she gives you, she calls them, I mean, she asks them to give you food. And then you eat. She was a mother. A lovely mother. A caring mother. And I'll miss her, miss her forever. Growing up, I knew her as my mother. She was the mother I knew even right from my age nine. She took care of me and taught me how to become a woman. I know how to be a very hardworking woman. She was a lovely woman, kind woman. She, every morning she wakes up when we were growing up, taught us how to do house job, how to become a woman. And most of the things I do today, I think I'm them from her. She, 
She supported me in so many ways when I was growing up. I think I would describe Mama as a kind-hearted woman. She's someone I we ever live to meet because she's this kind of person that whenever she sees us, she's always looking for something to give us. Like anytime she will cook. As will be the first one she will remove before any other one. As in, she's a good woman to the core. So I don't even know. I will forever miss her. She's like a mother. So I don't even call her my mother in law because <laughs> she's too much. She's just too good. She's too good. She doesn't joke with me and my children, especially my husband. Wonderful woman. Kind. So the legacy she left for me is kindness. It's good to be good. She's the mother of all. There is no way you described her that nobody will not know her. And the good aspect of it is this is a glorious exit. And there was no much problem before she took off. And I believe she will be at the right hand of God. Mom was a very wonderful woman. She took care of people. Mama loved people. We will always miss her. Even if it's her own last food, she will give it to somebody. Mama was so dear. She, she was there for us while we were growing up. She took care of us. Children that were not even born by her, she took care of them. So today they are remembering her. We just thank God for her life. My mother was a very loving woman. Everybody can attest to that. People who know her closely will tell you to that. She was a mother to all of us, not just to her children, but to those people who came around her. You know something that was unique about my mother? Is there anyone who came around her? You know, she would always give them food. That is the, uh, a culture, something we have taken up from my mother. You know, they would say, go to the Bessia's house. You get, you know, entertained with all kinds of food. So we are glad she lived a very useful life. She died at the age of 101, which is, you know, how many people live to that age? So we are glad that she lived that life. And uh, we are grateful to God for a life well spent. And the much we can do is to wish her, you know, eternal rest and uh, all the rest that goes with it. If you were to ask me, if I were to come again, if there's anything like uh, reincarnation or what have you, I would like to come to her again because she was a fantastic mother. You know, she was a very, very loving mother, hardworking woman, a mother to all. So you can be that. What else can you ask for? So I'm glad that she's uh, lived a very fruitful uh, life, died at the age of 101 years and plus, you know. So we thank God for her life. Who like it or not, it's painful to have lost a mother. I'm talking of someone you have had a love relationship with for 70 something years. We are both uh, 74 today. Going on 75 in the next few months. So we have had that relationship with this woman for 70 something years. So that is special. We take that as a special relationship. Uh, I didn't think I would cry when it happened. But I found myself shedding tears like a baby. Like a baby. But uh, I have realized that this woman has lived a very fulfilled life. Unfortunately, we are able to take her home and bury her. We can only wish her God's guardian all through her journey to eternity. But for those who came to celebrate with us, it is not really commiserating. Who came to celebrate with us, we wish them well and uh, journey messages to wherever they are going. And uh, for the children, who and grandchildren, great grandchildren for that matter. And great great grandchildren. Yes, we are. We will show their own. We 
Sudans. We are, we are consoled by the fact that he, she is with the Lord because she passed on to glory. We here at Happy Day Studios wish to congratulate the Ugbesia twins and their siblings for giving their mother a befitting traditional burial. Please watch out for the second part of the burial ceremony in due course. To God be the glory. <laughs> Forum on this station, 6 30 p.m. Wednesday. Happy Days Forum. 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 It's a Happy Days Forum. And if you're not watching this show, watch these and more on your favorite magazine program. Happy Days Forum. 6 30 p.m. Wednesdays on this. That's our program for you today. Please join us same time, same station next week. I remain your host, Lizzie Adudu. Bye. <laughs>